to the Michigan Bandwidth Bowl Grand Finals Day. I'm super excited to be here. I know everybody else is as well. I'm here with special guest Flake of Wrath. You want to introduce yourself, talk about <laughs> yourself a little bit? Most of the people already here and already know you, but. Uh, sure. I'm Michael Stevens, a.k.a. Flake of Wrath. Uh, it, the chaos that is my life. Uh, you may notice me from news. I'm a weatherman, but yeah, at the same time, I'm also a gamer. So, uh, yeah. Jono said, get over here. Let's do some uh, casting. And I was like, dude, give me in some Rocket League. It's about maybe the only one I could probably cast. Maybe some Call of Duty too. But regardless, we're here. Grand Finals Day. We got Trine. We got Grand Valley. It's going to be a heck of a Sunday, brother. Grand Finals all over the board. Yes. Um, but I'm more, I couldn't be more pumped, dude. It's going to be a, it's going to be a good time. Yeah, I'm excited. All the teams played hard to get here. Um, everybody who made it, you know, there's a, quite a bit of upsets in the brackets as well. We, we'd always do our best to seed those. And then some teams just kind of come out and surprise you and, and play really well as a team. So we're going to take uh, a look right now. I mean, those, those games yesterday were crazy. I mean, the, the, the one that comes to mind, I mean, the one that was a big player in where we're at today, trying and Kettering. I mean, that was just a shootout uh, yes. all the way down to the last second. And then trying, uh, you know, both trying and Kettering had to go down and work their way back out into the finals of the loser bracket and try and end up coming away with that to face Grand Valley. So this is going to be super exciting. I mean, the, the, all the teams around yesterday, it was just phenomenal gameplay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, every, every team played well. Um, but, you know, these two met in the upper bracket finals. Uh, and then now they, they do the rematch in the uh, the winner grand, their grand finals here. Um, I'm pretty excited to see it is going to be a best of seven series. There's no bracket reset. For the sake of time, we're doing a uh, Michigan Bandwidth Summer Series where there's going to be uh, one game per month. Um, and it's just going to be one tournament like this, but only for one game. We are looking at having bracket resets for those. But this today, we've got back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back grand finals all day. So we're trying to get the show moving as well. So let's take a look at the Rocket League bracket here. And there you yeah. go. I mean, that's 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 just gorgeous uh, bracketeering, if you will. I mean, look at look at the teams yesterday. I mean, even though a lot of two O's around there, those games are so close. Like, yes. it, it, there was something about those games yesterday that just made you say, "Wow, um, this is a different type of rocket league that we had going on." But you can see, uh, trying definitely worked its way through all the way to the semifinals, and then obviously when Grand Valley kind of uh, jumped on them, went down the losers bracket, and then again Kettering trying. We're the last there in the losers round again phenomenal gameplay trying is really showing though really yesterday they had great wall control they had passes that you know the indirect passes that really made these games stand out for them off the back that allowed for you know those passes and centers to the middle that got those guys perfect setups and shots to get those you know last second victories um in many cases and it was just a phenomenal day for trying all around even going down to the losers bracket and then coming back up so Grand Valley, though, obviously you can see just how on top they were through yesterday, all the way through round two, round three, round four. Uh, I mean, the semifinals and into the finals. It was uh, a chaos day for a lot of these teams, but Grand Valley just seemed to stay there on top, uh, yes. which, you know, they're looking to do today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They definitely came out swinging, uh, let everybody know, hey, you know, we're the number one seed for a reason. Uh, we're going to make it to those grand finals, and we're going to we're gonna show up and play our best Rocket League that day. So. We're excited. I'm excited to get this game going. I know the teams, uh, the, you know, they, they did 2-0 trying uh, in the winner's bracket finals, but it, the games were a lot closer than the scores would dictate, of course. Um, so I'm hoping <laughs> to see the series kind of come down to the wire. We always like to see those those really close games, those close series where we're both and I think what you're gonna see, Yeah, and I think what you're going to see a lot of today, especially out of this grand final, is you're going to see a team that you're, you're going to see these close games. I mean, that's just a given. What Both between trying and Grand Valley, um, they might not want it that way, but it's going to be. What you're going to see is a lot of great wall work but you're going to see whoever can play the best defense clearing that junk out in front of the net is going to is going to walk away with this win today. And what I saw trying do yesterday is they do great wall work, but what I saw Grand Valley do very greatly is that defense turn switch over quickly into offense and run down the field and get what they need to do. So wall work, defense, you're going to see something uh whoever does the best is going to walk away. It might be that simple, but it's just something that you see with these games, especially this bracket so far, that wall work that garbage in front of the net, whoever can clear it out, is going to walk away victorious. 100%. Yeah, both teams are going to get a number of shots on goal, but it's just whoever can make sure that their, their defense is rotating fast enough uh, to make all of the, the necessary saves and be in the right position. I don't want to see any double commits. You know, I don't want to see a bumblebee and chasing the ball. But from both <laughs> of these teams, we didn't see any yesterday, so I'm not expecting any today. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get called back. I mean, I think in, with both these teams, you're not going to see anybody overcommit. You're not going to see anybody... Uh, leave, you know, obviously that backfield wide open for someone to get off the wall and just walk away with it. Uh, they're 
they're both disciplined teams and you're not going to see that and that is very uncharacteristic of both trine and grand valley uh but what i think you're definitely going to see is yeah you'll see the aggressiveness when needed when necessary yes. but you're not going to see those over commits all the way through that's definitely not going to be a thing Absolutely. And one of the things I've noticed from both of these teams is the, the great passing work they're doing. Nobody's individually trying to take control of the game. It, one person doesn't feel like, hey, it's my responsibility to win this game for us. They're making those good team plays. They're making those good passes and setting each other up for those opportunities. If you go up one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, it's easy for the goalie to kind of make that safe. But if you're working them as right. a team, that's how you get somebody out of position. Yeah, and that's where we were I was talking about earlier with those indirect passes. A lot of people may say, well, that was a shot at net. That wasn't even close to net. No. That's, a, that's an indirect pass off the back wall that someone's flying in from the left or right that can easily pop that by the goalie. That, that, those indirect passes are going to be huge, especially those aerials into indirect passes or just the dump from a goalie uh, or even uh, right around midfield. If you get those midfield dumps that just look like they're that was way off net, that's an indirect pass that's going to yep. result in somebody's center that is going to possibly end up as a goal. Uh, but those are probably going to play a huge factor as well. Coming out of the corner, somebody's going to have that pat or that indirect shot right into that side net so it could uh benefit uh both grand valley and trine both of them did it very well yesterday but you're going to see that play a big part too oh absolutely absolutely and one thing i, I saw a lot of yesterday was uh bumps and demos and goals as well so that's something that you know it once you start playing the higher everybody's making those correct rotations a good way to you know instead of expecting the opponent to, to error on themselves go ahead and force an error make something happen make them uh, kind of get out of position, make them wary. We saw yesterday uh, people were repeatedly demoing the same person, so all of a sudden you see someone coming at you, you're getting a little bit more scared, you're worried about if they're going to hit you or not, and then next thing you know, they didn't end up getting the demo, but they they got the person off the ball and the person was too scared to go. So it's those mental games that you got to play with each other, that mental warfare as well. Oh, I mean, you're definitely going to get that. You have to be in any sport. I mean, coming from hockey myself, a hockey background, you know, if you're all up in someone's grill, you're definitely going to have them in the back of their mind thinking, well, I don't want that again. So, yep. of course, uh, demolition is going to be a huge thing. But also, what are they going to do with the boost? Who can hog the boost the most? Who can get those boosts and leave someone stranded? That's also going to be a big thing. Also, I mean, just boost play in general is a big role that a lot of people might not grasp. But, you know, who's using it the most? Who's not using it when they should be using it? Who's, who's using it when they probably shouldn't be using it? And yep. if you can control that boost, but at the same time, uh, just in the back of your, like you said, mental warfare, yeah, that's definitely going to be a huge role. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It uh, looks like both teams are in their respective voice channels, so we should be getting into lobby here shortly. Um, we're waiting on, I think Grand Valley has to... Chat, add. you got to weigh in. Who's who's walking away from this series here? Is it Trine? Is it Grand Valley? Who are you all favoring? Somebody's got to... You, you got to lay it on the line here. And you can't say both. That's not going to work, chat. <laughs> I will say Michigan school is greater than everyone else. Uh, listen... It's man, I think, just set it down. I think it's, I think it's going for Grand Valley there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Technically trying not a Michigan school. So <laughs> trying not Valley, a Michigan school, good. but it's okay. Yes, they are They are close with, with a lot of our, us directors as well. And so uh, when we were looking for people to come in and play out, uh, the directors were happy to. And I will say, get some people playing. Try and if you, if, all right, listen, Grand Valley has a great, a lot of the schools have great esports programs and great spots for these esports, and they put their money into it. Try and has a tremendous one. If you ever get the uh, the ability to check out Trine's campus and their esports, huge. It is pretty uh, pretty amazing campus. I will say that. Absolutely, Grand Valley as well. I actually attended Grand Valley for two years before I ended up at Ferris. So, um, always love to see to see them doing well. But when when my team play them, it's a little extra special. Them, so. <laughs> hey, listen, I know Bilski's out there probably watching. So, uh, you know, I I got to give my love to Grand Valley too. He's putting in the hard work, and Grand Valley's showing up. And uh, yeah, absolutely Good for Grand Valley. Absolutely. It looks like we are getting in game here. So I'm going to send us into the in game view. Let's get her started. Nope, not one to one. It is zero zero. Hold on, we'll get there. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure who's going to be on what side yet, so we'll flip that as it looks like it's going to be the other way. Of course, make a prediction. Here we go. And we're off. We got Trine in blue, Grand Valley in orange. That is correct. I think he's going to pop that off the wall. Right now, it looks like we got the old midfield defensive battle going on here. 
kind of feeling everybody out here. Zap's going to ride that wall center. Already going for the nice set. Trying to retain possession of the ball. Not quite able to keep it here. Going off the wall, like you said earlier. Accidentally burns his teammate there. Yeah, that, that was definitely not what Zap was going for as he uh, kind of centered it forward trying. But you're going to see Grand Valley bounce back from this. Good aerial, good clear. Sets it up. Ooh, Penguin gets back in time. Good rotation there. Grand Valley with the shot. Trying, able to be in position to make the save. Could be a man advantage position. Oh, Cyber there. Clears it away, says you don't get that free shot. Yeah, Grand Valley quick to uh, get that double rotation back. Going for the double touch. Cyber's Not gonna play moves. that off the wall. There's that indirect pass. Good save though by Trime. Out of the corner, a little bounce shot. First demo of the game coming from Zap onto Ashes. The double touch, and he gets it. What a nice, nice goal by Rilla there. And that would be the uh, you know the old double tap for the goal. And that's where you can you can play with that mental game right there. You can say that's an indirect pass. If you miss it, you know that's centered. Or you can just pop it off the front windshield like Rilla did for the first goal. Grand Valley yep. up one nothing. Absolutely. You saw him go for it on the p previous possession, but didn't have the the boost to make it go in. But there had enough boost, correct boost management. Nice goal for Grand Valley. And try and get that garbage out of the net. That was that big thing I was talking about at the beginning. You got to get that garbage out of there. You can't let it loose. You can't let them. You can't let Grand Valley or Trine in loose in front of the net trying to play those balls. And Trine's going to dump it back in here to Grand Valley. There's that indirect pass for a center. Grand Valley's going to get that junk out of there. Going for the floater down mid. Not quite able to get it in. Cyber with a nice shot. Oh, double touch wasn't quite there. Trine's defense able to clear it. And Trine's going to try to play it out of this corner here. Grand Valley's going to... Oh, yeah, there, there they go. They, uh, yeah, Grand Valley played very smart there. They actually blocked Trine from getting that ball out of here. I believe it was... Yeah, right there. Perfect block, which allowed Rilla to just to walk the ball in. Kind of overcommitted with two in the corner. And Trine just got blocked from playing that ball. Really just came in and took that goal. 2 nothing, Absolutely. Grand Valley. Yeah, Grand Valley really taking offensive control of the game so far. Almost all of the shots on net have been from them. There's a good save by Penguin. It looks like right now, Trine's kind of... That was a good block. Trine's get, kind of getting small errors, just small small mistakes in their zone, which is opening the door, and Grand Valley's just taking advantage of it right now. Absolutely. Nice error control from both teams, but Grand Valley's just a little Ooh. bit cleaner with it as well. There's a good pass off the back wall. Rilla's getting clear back in the corner. Grand Valley dumps it back into uh, Trine's zone, and it looks like they're just going to try to force this to the net. Yeah, trying to bounce it off that sidewall, getting a good bounce to go in front. Not able to find what they want. Ashes with a nice touch. No boost to finish up on that shot. Ooh, Cyber demolishing Ashes there when he came down. Looks like Grand Valley here struggling to get it out. Trine's trying to just force it in. Trine's playing that midfield battle. Nice shot. Good play Ando. by Ando. Good shot. Not quite a little indirect though. pass, a little tip by Ashes, not going. Oh. oh, the post is your friend, folks. Grand Valley back into the trine zone. A little force off the wall. Good save by Ando. Trying really, trying to force it in that last attempt, but they were just a little bit off in the two shots that they had open. Yeah, Grand Valley playing that wall. Good wall control back into the zone, down into the uh, left corner of trine. A little, uh, Sailor shot there that just kind of clipped the uh, crossbar back out to midfield. Trine's going to push it, try to push it in the corner. I tip it in front of the net. Oh, that's left open. Penguin trying to get past his teammates. Not able to get it right where he wants it. Yeah, they got to rotate out of there. Get some boost. Grand Valley dumps it deep. Right corner of Trine and Grand Valley. Ooh. Ooh, nice, uh, nice demolition by Ando. Or Ashes, excuse me. That was actually key play there. That could have been giving Grand Valley an opportunity to score. Looked like they were prepped and ready for it, but Ashers decided, hey, no shot for you. <laughs> no shot for you. Grand Valley, if anybody's old enough to chat, the old Seinfeld reference, no suit for you. Of course. Am I dating myself yet? <laughs> <laughs> All these Zoomers in chat going, what's going on? 
There we 22 go. 22 seconds left. 2 0 oh, for Grand Valley. Uh, it's not impossible. We had a couple games with multiple scores in the last 10 seconds, but. There he is. a good play by Ashes. He's going to float that in. That's a good play and good save by Cyber. Yep, just keep it up there. And trying, trying to force one shot in there. And that's going to bring it to an end. But yeah, Grand Valley takes the first one 2 0 as uh, Rilla. Two goals walking away, but they were they, that was a really good offensive stance by Grand Valley pretty much the entire game. Really never gave Trine the opportunity to set up shop and get those good shots on net. And Grand Valley just kind of stuck it to him when it came to force in their hand with the uh, with offensive zone. Trine made two mistakes. Grand Valley capitalized on those two mistakes. Huge. Yep. Turns out 2 nothing victory. Yep, and the shot difference, 12 shots for Grand Valley, five shots for, for Trine. Again, you know, um, whoever's going to get... Oh, I joined the game. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Showing the game. <laughs> um, yeah, but those, again, those shots on, like, Grand Valley had offensive possession all game, and then that's, you know, continued shots after continued shots, and it ends up going uh, their way. So going into uh, match two here, Grand Valley's going to try to take uh, possession, clear it out here. He's trying, trying to uh, keep it in. Nice little. Uh, Left wheel bump, if you will. That's going to keep it in the zone. Grand Valley, though, going to dump it off the wall. Grand Valley, again, tacking quick. Two shots just off net. Trine's going to get an opportunity here, and they're going to bury it. Penguin just outraced him to the ball. Looks like they overcommitted their midfield with uh, Grand Valley trying to be aggressive again. Yep, just kind of overplayed it, and Penguin said, I'll, I'll walk it home. Yep. Trying to said, hey, you know, we're shaking off game one. We're going to come out here. This is a whole new game, and we're going to go up early. Getting that first goal is really big mentally in the Rocket League. You, have, you can play safer. You can play from the lead. One goal lead isn't a whole lot. You know, you're not going to sit back and park the bus and play defense, but uh, you're definitely a little bit more comfortable going into this, these future rounds. Yeah, it's def it definitely gives you that option of what you kind of kind of want to do, what, how the play style you want to be. But at the same time, trying definitely doesn't want to be uh, sitting back and not aggressive here. They definitely want to continue to pound at home. You keep Grand Valley on their toes. And they're, they're going to try it right here. See if they can kind of bounce off the back wall, that indirect pass. Grand Valley three back. And they try to get rid of that garbage in front of the net. And that was a good dribble. Dribbling over. Oh, Rilla's still remaining in control. Not quite able to touch it once. Ashes Ooh. again with the demo. Yeah, Ash is definitely being very aggressive with the demos. Even in game one. Zap's going to try to clear it, but that... Turns into a shot, but good save by Cyber. Kind of pinched it off the post now. Grand Valley's going to try to take opportunity here. Just can't get the angle off the back. It was so close. They wanted that one. Trying on the offense here, but they weren't. Both teams weren't quite able to get. There's a good center. Ooh, and just missed it. Ando could not bury that. He had a wide open net there. 50-50 win for Grand Valley there. Zap's trying to play that in the middle. And we got Ashes that is going to play that into the corner. Try to get it out. A good dump. Got the mega boost as well. Great movement there from Ashes. Oh, Rilla. Body checks the ball. That could have been bad for Grand Valley. Oh, no. Uh oh, okay. okay. Over through the net. There you go. I was going to say that would have almost turn bad for Penguin, but Ashes is going to play it out right into Rilla. And Rilla and both Cyber looked like came out of the uh, corners to double clear that. All I hear is Santa Claus as Rilla is flying around. Yo, those sleigh bells <laughs> going crazy. Or Cyber, excuse me. So we're going to continue to play this in the corner here for Trine. And Trine's going to clear it out. Penguin's going to try to carry this through midfield, but Zap's coming through as they rotate, dumps into the corner. And we're just stuck here in this corner in uh, yeah. Trine zone. Both teams playing both aggressive here and trying to clear. And Rilla comes nice out of nowhere. There. Ash has tried to dump it again, but Cyber said. I got to get out of this corner. Dumps it in off the back wall and really just top left where Mama hides the cookies. Could not, just top cheese. Could not, you, when you come down out of, the, out of the air like that and put it top left, it is very difficult to uh, stop a shot that is going top left out from the top down. It's just so much harder than if you're aiming at the bottom of the ground. So that was a good notice by Rilla and good shot. Absolutely. Trine just had, wasn't able to clear the ball effectively. They had a couple of clears that got stopped by Grand Valley. And Grand, Grand Valley kept up the offensive presser. Uh, Trine buckled on the rotations and Grand Valley hit the easy shot there. 
Yeah, 100% agree. It was well done on Grand Valley's part to not like try and walk away with that. Crime was trying, and there's number two, Cyber. 2-1 two, Grand Valley now is Cyber. Again, same thing. Trying's playing with the ball in their zone, and Grand Valley's just taking advantage of it. They're saying, hey, we will take that shot. Or if it's on the wall, we'll take it off the back wall. It just seems like trying struggling right now to get through the midfield off the walls. And right now, Grand Valley's just taking advantage of it. Absolutely. Cyber, you saw him come out of goal. He was rotated back, ready for defense, and saw his opportunity. Pushed all the way up from the goal to get, get their own uh, shot on that there. Trying's going to be a little more aggressive here. They're going to try to force this in. If Grand Valley, again, off the walls, forcing it towards the net, see if Trying can respond with uh, wall play out of the corner. And Rilla, again, they're coming out of the corners, walking out of the corners. As Trying just can't get away from these corners, and Grand Valley's just answering Rilla again. Nice little bump into the uh, right post in, in the net. 3-1 Grand Valley here in match two. Oh, absolutely. Grand Valley, you know, noticed they were down 1-0 and said, hey, wait a minute, we're not comfortable playing from behind. We want to play from ahead. Put three in, quick succession. Trying to take an early shot there right off the hop. Off the back wall, Cyber's going to let it go through. Oh, great shot Got there from Zap Penguin. Trying to play that through Penguin. Zap missed that, and Penguin took advantage to squeeze it home. Penguin a little tapper. He gets the old second tap to redirect her. Rilla just could not get enough of it to push it past the post. 3-2 is trying. Gets the second with a minute left. One minute left. One, down by one for trying. Ooh, oh. Grand Valley, Grand Valley again two. attacking right off the top. There it is. Rilla again. Trying struggling again to clear that garbage out in front of the net and Rilla taking advantage of it. Ando did a really good job of saving that ball. Problem was that ball settled in front of the net, giving Rilla that shot. Absolutely. Grand Valley not or letting two with one minute left now. Very, very much keeping up this offensive pressure. Wanted to make a statement, you know. Even in a game like you feel the game's over, if, if you have a long series to go, a lot of times it's better to just continue to put those shots in. Continue yep. to Ashes. 100% agree, and there it is. Ashes. 45 seconds left. This is coming down. Look at this. This is turning into a shootout in the yeah. last minute. 4 3. And that was a great pass by Ando, and Ashes kind of gotten uh, behind Grand Valley's defense there and just says, I'll walk it home again. Grand Valley's getting caught a little bit towards midfield, which is allowing trying to walk these two goals that we've seen, two out of the three, just walk them right in. Yeah. Cyber going for the ceiling flick, not quite able to get it. So two Grand Valley players trash out in the corner. Trying. There's Ando. And there we go. They're going to walk this, trying to walk it in. Looks like Ando's going to turn around, head back, rotate into the net. Good play. Sets him up for that. Grand Valley's going to try to kind of suffocate in this corner. Brian's going to need a quick Cyber move. And, oh, oh really? Actually, it goes in. It looked like Ando kind of... Re just didn't realize his angle there and overcommitted on that goal and really took advantage of it. Cyber, good little tap into Rilla's yep, front right wheel and pinch. that's right off the corner. They, they de corner. Trying defense was definitely playing off the Cyber hit and then Rilla comes in and pinches it with him and shoots it the other side of the goal. So we got 5-3 here with 10 seconds left. Trying's going to try to answer right off the hop here. There's a good center in front and that was a good demolish there by Cyber. And clock Grand zero. Valley's going to take this one home as it hits the ground. Oh, it hasn't hit the ground yet. Right. Somebody put a body there it in it. <laughs> but that great was a play. great pinch there to get that last goal from Grand oh, Valley. And that, that sealed the deal. Uh, but two games goes to Grand Valley. And when you look at these numbers, look at Rilla. Four yeah. goals there and five shots. I mean, Rilla was coming out 80%. Swinging. Woo! Can't argue with that. Uh, but Cyber throwing one home there too but ashes look at the uh look at the teamwork by ash there goals assists save shots all around there while penguin was definitely on top of it well very good great work by grand valley to not let trying back in that game they tried yes. and tried and tried but grand valley continued to shut the door when the opportunity presented itself for trying trying is trying definitely found their way in that second game more so than the first game and I'm really thinking Trine's going to put the uh, all the pieces together here very shortly in this next game, if not maybe the game after. But you're going to see something uh, really war start to work for Trine. They're getting the feel for it. 
Grand Valley, though, continuing to shut that door when presented. Now, Grand Valley makes a few mistakes. Trine's going to hop all over. I can feel I can guarantee you that will happen. Definitely, definitely. You saw Trine go up early in the last game. Uh, and, you know, if they can kind of keep that pace, keep that aggression, uh, they'll be good here in game number three. Right off the midfield, Cyber is going to pump that in into the uh, trying zone. And again, we got Zap kind of pinching off the back wall and trying. There you go. That is exactly what you got to do. You got to get that front out, that garbage in front of the net, out into the zone and back into midfield. Demo coming out already from Cyber. Ash was looking to get it on goal at least. Not quite making it where he wants. Looked like it was a pass. Nobody there to follow it up. It's a good play off the wall and into the corner. Grand Valley there, though, to shut the door. And they're going to try to walk this one in. Nice dribble. Ash is good play. Good save. That leads to a try and offensive possession. Ash is good play. Kind of dropping it in there. And that's going to set up. Oh, a nice shot. A good save by Cyber. Yeah, trying to hit a good offense there. But Grand Valley had even better defense. Oh, and with good that, play. the follow-up from Penguin. That's the kind of setup that's exactly. that you want. Yeah, exactly uh, what you want there. Ash is coming in, popping it off the back wall. And it was initially saved by Zap, but again, that ball settled rather than bouncing out. Yep. And that allowed for that stuff home. one nothing trying here in uh, the third match. And we got okay, yeah. just <laughs> dribbling right in front of the net. Holding my breath there Prime. on that shot. Rilla's going to try to stuff that home but it's not going to happen trying very wise there if he would have tried to just throw that in the middle that could have presented an easy opportunity for grand valley to uh, shoot and score but decided i'm going to walk this out to the side and that was great play work by ashes and look oh, at this he's got the long. opportunity he's just going to walk it in yeah just... play. exactly exactly what you want to see from trying they wise up there they did not want to just throw it in the middle in their zone and decided to walk it to the wall off the wall and they could walk it home and really tried to get back just did not have the boost 2-0 trying yep that fake had grand valley bite to come in and then they just you know got that side boost just had a little bit more speed really exactly. tried to get that, that safe but just didn't bite. put up the angle that was a great work on ash's part and trying's part and cyber comes out and says off the wall i'm gonna stuff that far right corner yep good Again, save by goal. penguin initially but cyber Woo. good play very good shot right where trying wasn't and that's what you're trying to do right where they aren't absolutely coming down to another shootout here and we got three minutes left three and a half minutes and this is already a shootout oh penguin Ryan's is gonna he just gonna to walk okay, this in no, no not again Ooh. grand valley was able Dumped to into the left corner here of uh grand valley zone and they're gonna play it across map off the wall and see if they can Kind of get it past midfield. He kind of stifled it there. Cyber didn't mean to stifle it, but he put it into the uh, corner again. Ashes is going to try to demolish off the top, but Zap dumps into the corner. Yeah, and Grand Valley again trying to walk into uh, Trine zone. Oh, two, Ooh, two misses decided. by Trine, but Penguin decides, uh, I'll get it. Don't worry, boys. Is he going to be able to get this? Not quite. Cyber going for these demos. Trying to get in Trine's head a little bit. And this is somewhere where Cyber really shines bright right now. Off those side walls, he can bounce it off towards the net, giving Grand Valley those great opportunities. But trying out of the zone, back into the Grand Valley zone where Cyber is going to dump into the other corner. Kind of uh, relief that pressure, if you will. When you relieve yes. that pressure like that, it gives you a little more time to figure out what you're going to do with that ball coming into the zone. Okay, and oh, though, great trying. shot. Oh, good shot. Yeah, trying just on defense there playing good defense, and then all it takes is one good clear that's on goal. A lot of times, too, just send those clears at net. If they're not back, they're not back, and if they are, then, then cool, you clear the ball. So That was a great recognition by Ando. Ash has kind of got a little handcuffed as it went backwards to Ando, who was there, and perfectly set up for that long shot, and it worked out 3-1, Trine. Trine showing that they're not out of the series yet. They really wanted to come back and, and say, hey, we can still have an opportunity to win this. We want to play our best Rocket League here today. No, and this is exactly what I was talking about in that intermission of the second game. Trying is trying to put the pieces together, and when they do, it's going to work for them, and they've done that so far this game. Yes, there's been a few mistakes here and there, but Grand Valley hasn't capitalized on them, and it's opened the door for trying to capitalize on them. Absolutely. 
Nando's going to play that off the mid wall. Kind of bounce it into uh, midfield. And, oh, Penguin. Ooh, what good shot, that? but good save by Rilla. And Rilla's actually going to come back the other way. Force it into a, a shot on Trine's net. Off the crossbar, back into the right corner of Trine. Nice clear there by Penguin. Not letting it bounce Yeah, Zap that was net. trying to walk that home. And Zap, Rilla just missing the redirection there and trying walking out to midfield into uh, Grand Valley zone off the back wall, well, actually off of yeah, Cyber, Cyber there. And he's going to walk it out. He's going to oh, try. Rilla's off the back wall. And, oh, a... post. Trine's best friend there. And good setup, good shot. Cyber stuffed one home 3 2 with 45 seconds left. Trine is holding on to this. They cannot let Grand Valley back in this game. They got to get a quick one, kind of shut the door here on Grand Valley. Absolutely. Penguin just missing that. You can't let off the gas, even if you're two goals ahead. You have to continue the pressure, but you can't at the same time overcommit to get those extra goals. You don't need a third goal, but you need to not exactly. let it go. Exactly. Penguin, nice pinch off the uh, back wall into the corner. Rilla's going to try to set this up, trying to center it home. Ashes plays it to the wall. Cyber, ooh, just misses it, but try and force it down into Grand Valley's zone. Let's see if they can capitalize on this. Grand Valley, though, is going to walk out. Rilla on the wall, centers it. Ooh, just a little bit redirected the wrong direction by Cyber. Zap over his head. Ando might oh, have Ando an opportunity. The There's nice a good center. Pass. Ooh. And the countdown begins here. We got 10 seconds left, trying up 3-2. Right now, Grand Valley's in trying zone, trying to tie this game up. Five seconds left. Zap's trying to, ooh, just center it in, but Ash is going to get rid of it, and this one's going to go to Trine. As soon as that ball gets down, there it is. Okay. <sighs> trying it does and get their first game win of the they, series. They put it together. Grand Valley tried to open the door, win given the opportunity, but Trine, Ash is coming in with one goal, two assists, three saves, two shots all around just showing that uh, they kind of put the pieces together there for game three and uh, right now Grand Valley up two games one but Grand Valley just could not force into that doorway they just could not do yep. it as uh, try and put the pieces together making less mental errors and taking home that game uh, but all three of Trine's members there on top of it for that game and that's what it's going to take here for game four absolutely Trine definitely came out and made a statement. Hey, you know, we dropped the first two games, but it doesn't mean that we're going to just drop all of them in a row. So we're going to come out. We're going to take one. We're going to make sure that Grand Valley knows that we can win these. And what Trine did good in that third game, uh, much better that, so than the first two games, was a, getting out of the middle of the zone. And right there, Cyber just walked Five in out of the zone. Goal. Gives him a first, first, first goal of uh, game four here. That was quick. Yeah. If a five-second goal isn't a statement in Rocket League, I don't know what is. Yeah, now Trine's got to answer. Trine's got to do some work here right off the hop. But, you know, we got four, four minutes and 55 seconds left, so it's not needed necessarily. Just set yourself in. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, get some demos. Do some wall work, but also don't forget what you did game three. Absolutely. There's a good stuff on the zone. There we go. Getting it to the sidewall, doing some work. Ando's going to walk this one in, try to, but Rilla's going to dump it back into Trine zone. Great pass. Nobody's there. That's one that you can't be ready for, because if you're ready for that, you're overcommitted if they do clear it hard. And that's and that's a tricky play, too. Sometimes you get too much mustard on those pinches, and it just sails to the other side. Yep. Something Rilla did really well there. Cyber's going to try and walk this home. Rilla's going to come in, though, give it a little bump. And uh, Ash is with a good save. You could definitely tell that was pretty low in comms, because Cyber was going for that shot, and then decided to back off when Rilla called that he had a better angle. Yeah. And that's definitely uh, something that's huge in comms when you're in air like that. And you got two guys in aerials. You do not want to get caught, but they one definitely had a better angle. And you could just, you saw Rilla come in, but you also saw Cyber back off. Yep. Cyber's Cyber. going to play this up top, and he's Pretty just going to walk this to the other zone through the air. Ash is there for the stop, though. Ando's going to try to come in, and Rilla's going to blow up Ando. They got a kind of a quick two on three three on two here but ando's back now and he's going to come in <laughs> penguin's going to try to bury that but it's a nice little stuff by grand valley to keep in trying zone absolutely grand valley back on offense now they started to pressure you know turn the heat up on the demos last game and they're looking to do so this game as well ando's going to play to the corner here cyber's going to kind of put it back into the corner trying to get it forced to the net but it looks like trying's going to ooh. 
And that's a play by Zap there. It looks like Trine just kind of got caught deep, could not get the punch on the ball that they wanted. Yeah. And Zap just flies in, gives a little tapper. Penguin just missing that save. And uh, Grand Valley buries that in the right post for 2-0 lead here with three minutes left. Yeah, three minutes is a lot of time in Rocket League, that's for sure. This is still anybody's Oh, game. it is a lot of time. 15 seconds can be a long time, too. Yes. I just know from casual matches. No no comp matches for me, but those casual matches, they get crazy, but this is a little bit different. Gotcha. I peaked champ one. That's why my, my <laughs> highest. So. I cheeked plat. What was I, I, I peaked at plat two? I, I, nothing, nothing fancy here, chat. Oh, Penguin with a nice backboard pass. Nobody there to follow it up. Probably wasn't as hard as he would have liked. He really come flying in. Gets caught deep. If trying can... Trying not back there to get this ball is just kind of sitting free. Grand Valley's going to try to, uh, Cyber's going to try to keep this in the corner. Really and cyber. they're just kind of rotating through the zone right now. What a Good play. play. Wow, that was all Grand Valley there. As they rotated from one corner across map, Cyber is going to push this in the corner off to himself and just bloop, little uh, tap home. That was great rotation by Grand Valley. They were never deep. They went from corner to midfield to corner and just buried that centering pass. Cyber to himself. Three that was such Grand a Valley. good pass to himself. Knew exactly where he wanted it to go and then caught right up with it and dunked it right in. And Ash is just air control with the ball, trying to get a crisp. And this is what Trine needs here. They need a quick bury here, trying to control, but they just can't keep controlling Grand Valley zone. This is one thing that you're seeing huge in this game is Grand Valley's mainly deep in Trine's zone the entire time. We haven't been in Grand Valley zone very much this match. And Trine needs to uh, quickly figure that out and keep it deep. Do a little rotation, get Ash's good Ash's play. Nice. And Great their ball control. Open up the goalie there as well. And that was great play. You can see just rises, dribbles at home, and the demo by Ando, yeah. I believe that was, just coming through. Uh, that was great play to take him out and let Ashes walk right into that. 3-1 with a minute 45 left. We still have time here for trying to get back in this game. A two-goal lead is never an easy... Never mind. Oh, Zap. look at that. <laughs> Zav, again, just instant kickoff goal. Oh, man. Penguin... And Ash has got both caught both deep, and Ando could not get back. Zach that's takes a, advantage of it. That's so aggravating. You finally get to you know, open yourself up a goal. Hey, guys, we scored. We're coming back. And then immediately just the score gets reset. And that's what Grand Valley really wanted to do, though. Two-goal leads are the most uncomfortable leads in any sport. Yep. And yeah, I can tell you right now, Grand Valley just kind of squashed that with that goal. Trine's going to need to bury another one very quickly here with a minute and a half left. That's a good centering pass. And Penguin going to rock this one out. See if he can play it off the wall correctly. Ashes is going to get it deep. He's trying to hit the uh, double tap. Oh, it sets up Ando, though, in that accidental centering. Ando's going to put it in the corner. Ashes is going to try to get that play center, but got caught deep. Penguin there, luckily, uh, to save and get back. Ando's a nice little shot there off the corner. But Grand Valley is going to uh, kind of pop this one in the corner and pop deep. Trying's definitely not being as aggressive as I thought they would be here in their zone. Yeah, they really need Grand to step Valley it up. Zone. But you have Grand nothing Valley's to lose from uh, over committing at this point. You're, you're down so many that, oh my gosh. Oh, that long. was a great play. That was a great play on uh, Zap's part to, re uh, to shoot that in. And then Cyber, look at this redirect. Oh my. That redirect was just so light, and his awareness in the air to where the goal was and where the ball was yep. was great there. And he had to hit that with the tire, because if he hits that with the car, it goes too far. So he has rotates oh, goes and touches far it with the right. tire and just soft touches yeah. it right in. That awareness, situational awareness there, was just on top tier there from Cyber and Zap. 30 seconds left here, 5-1 Grand Valley uh, for game four. And Trine is going to continue to push this and that's a good play into Grand Valley's zone here. Yeah, at this point, if you're trying, you're trying to get reps and, and practice how you're going to plan your offense, how you're going to hit these offensive Yeah, you're just getting a little game. bit exactly right. You're just trying to get a little bit of momentum going into the next game here. And Ashes is doing that's 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 probably the best work we saw from trying in Grand Valley zone there. Granted, the game is at five one at this point, but that was a really good way to end the game there for trying. But Grand Valley walking away from this one.
Uh, pretty dominant in that game with uh, that, that quick turnaround goal. That fourth goal was kind of what I feel like just kind of took the wind out of uh, trying sales, if you will. But three goals from Cyber there with an assist, two saves, and three shots all around. Haas right there just doing work. Zap, two goals, one assist, four shots. And then even when you look down in trying, I mean, it was they did good work. Ashes had a goal, three saves, two shots. Also, Ando, though, but look how many saves they had. They had five saves between Ashes and Ando. That just tells me Grand Valley spending a lot of time in zone, getting a lot of shots off. Yep. Um, I mean, it was it was a game that Grand Valley just did a lot of work in trying zone. Trying just could not set up in Grand Valley zone for that game. All right. This is where Trine really has to shine, right? It's backs against the wall. You lose this one, you're out of the out of the tournament. Ash is pulling out the, the battle bus. Okay, <laughs> interesting <laughs> choice here. <laughs> Gonna see how uh, how he decides to use that battle bus hitbox. So yeah, it's you know the, the, he's just giving the old nod to Fortnite, I guess. That's what he, that's what he's doing here. Of you course. know, uh, let's see how it works out for him. Bold strategy, Cotton. Yes, absolutely. And uh, trying, uh, like you said, this is for the all the marbles. Trying has to show up here, do the work that they know they got to do here, and get this game under their belt. Um, for Grand Valley, they're trying to shut this out. They're trying to get this done and in the books as uh, the Grand Finals victors here. Yeah, definitely. Grand Valley looking to take home the Rocket League Championship portion of the. Ooh, good event. play there by Ashes. The battle bus coming in handy. Penguin, good shot. Good save, though, by Rilla. And this is where uh, Trine's going to have to do some work. This is where they're going to have to keep the ball in zone, do a little bit of rotation, get some passes, catch Grand Valley off their guard, and get those passes and centers where they need to be. Definitely. Good play. Good bounce by Penguin. That's going to keep it midfield over to the wall on the right side. Grand Valley's going to take it back into Trine's zone, into the corner. Ashes is going to bounce it up, but Rilla is there. To get the shot on net in the center, but trying now kind of fumbling with it in front of their net. Like going Ashes this. is going to take the battle bus and do work over the wall. Oh, is he going to get the shot in with it? No, it doesn't, it doesn't manage to get the touch there. Grand Valley, over the course of the series, has just been a little bit faster on their rotations, a little bit faster downfield. That's led to a lot of open goal situations. 100% agree there. And Rilla with that, tried to drive it home, but Ando had a good save there. And again, trying, walking out of the zone. This is what they got to do a little more of with a little more ball control, but they get caught deep. Penguin's going to try to be there, just misses it as Rilla walks it in with that goal. one nothing. Nice. Grand like Valley. Barely. Make it a little bit harder to read. Just a little bit too far for Penguin to actually get up there and make the save. Yeah, Penguin was kind of caught flat-footed with Rilla dribbling it in. And that's not as it's not an easy save to make as your one v one there and Rilla had kind of all the options to work with. Trying on the early advancement there off the off the face off. And Grand Valley is going to take advantage. Put that shot on net. Good save by Ando. That is not an easy save to make. He got back, flies up, and Grand Valley may have just given them a goal. Yep. Ando, great save. I believe it was Rilla coming back, trying to bop it above the net, but what happened there was what I call oh, yeah. Zap, the That's... old team MVP for uh, for trying on that goal there. Yeah, yeah. Own goal is never fun to see, especially in the grand finals, to tie it up uh, in a series defining game here, at least for trying. But what trying's got to do now is take that and build off it, capitalize off that mistake that Trine just or uh, Grand Valley just made. Correct. And we got Ashes in the battle bus. He's going to carry no it down boost. the wall. This is a great move, great play, and Rilla is there to kind of bounce back into the corner. Gets the bump as well, but it goes off Ando's hood back towards their side. Another oh, shot by Grand Valley. Play. Rilla in right place, right time. Shot. That's yeah, that was a story great setup. And what you saw there was trying, didn't have anybody behind Ashes or to rotate into at or where Ashes was to pick up that ball. Gave time for Grand Valley to walk out, set up the aerial, and that was a great play and great shot uh, for the 2 1 lead here. Penguin with a good touch. Yeah, Penguin dumping it in, but Zap is there to kind of clear it back in. Ash is kind of off, off the wall, but you can see there Ando. Great awareness to say that's centered. I got to bounce it back into midfield. Cyber's going to try to carry this in and pinches it off the back wall. That was good play there by trying to get back. 
Ando's going to race down, see if he can get a piece of this and put it towards the net. Just misses it, and Rilla's going to dump it back into try and zone to Cyber, who's busting right. down the right Cyber. side, and that is a that was a good play. That's just a traditional hockey play. You're coming out of the zone, and I, I hate to say it's a traditional hockey play, but he's busting down the zone, yep. and there's a wide open winger. You get him the ball, and he just takes advantage of it and zap even on the left side. That was three lanes, and you had a choice of which lane you wanted to go to, and Cyber took advantage of it 3 1. Both teams pulling the fake. Interesting. I haven't seen that yet in, in the battle. We'll see how that sure. works out for him. Right now, Trine's on the uh, winning advantage of the double fake. And that's a setup for Ando. Good play. Nice. 3 2 now, Trine answering quickly, and that's what they needed. Good play off the wall, Penguin. That is wall play. Cyber trying to clear it, but it goes right to Ando, and he stuffs it right center of that net. That was a great shot. 3-2, yep. trying, trying to crawl back here with a minute 30. Grand Valley wins. They take home the trophy. Trying wins. We go to game six. Absolutely. Trying Good again. Nice shot. Ball. Evens Good. it up. That Pick is a great again. play. Again, exactly what Trying needed. Again, ball control. Penguin off the back wall. Sets up Ando for this perfect shot. Wide open net. 3-3. Three, three. This is exactly what we want to see here in this all could be potentially ending game here. Yes. Grand Valley wants to end this just overall series. They need a quick one. Trying, trying to make this their game, and they need it. They need another goal here within another minute and a half. But they've shown the last 15 seconds, 20 seconds, that was all trying here within the uh, last minute and a half. Definitely, trying coming out saying, "Hey, you know, now that we are in this do or die situation, they're making it work." And Ashes. Good, good off the back wall, and Ash is just not in the right set there to get that. Oh, and good good demolish there by Cyber. That's going to allow Grand Valley to get in the zone, but Ash is back. Good dump. Let's see if Rilla can take advantage of it off the back wall. He's going to try to double touch this. Ando kind of caught flat-footed, but he's in the Trap. right spot. That's a good save. Didn't get enough heat on it there. Ash is with the battle carry pause. This one down. Penguin off the back wall. Zap's going to ride this one into the zone. Good block there by Ashes as he took Rilla out. Ando kind of carrying it. That's a center. Ashes is not there, though. 30 seconds left as Cyber's going to try to bounce this one home. And that's over the car. He has the opportunity. Oh, <gasps> not quite oh, in. the crossbar. Zilla oh, too no, high as well. Too hard. Ashes is going to play this to the center. And that's a good play by Ando. Grand Valley back, though. Cyber is going to force it into the zone. Ashes is going to bop it, kind of stuff it back in. That's a shot off the back Ando wall. with a nice Ando, save. good save. Four seconds left. Can we get a zero second goal Grand here? Valley's going to try to keep this up in the air. Oh! And Trine's going to try to force this in the air and home without an overtime. Okay, Ooh. overtime. Here we go. <laughs> Do or die situation. Trine, this is it. If you let one in here, time to go home. Trying, trying to force a game six. Grand Valley trying to end this series. And uh, Grand Valley is going to pump this into trying zone. Trying is going to try to force this out. Zap is looking for that center. There it is out of the corner. Rilla and, puts oh, it in. Rilla takes advantage. 20 seconds into overtime. That does it. Grand Valley walks as the Michigan Bandwidth Bowl Rocket League champs. Four to three. Great performance by Rilla there. Quickly off the bat, Grand Valley just walks in, sets it up, and they take it home. Trying, though, clawing their way back. That was a tremendous performance by trying to take it to overtime. Wow, what a series finale there. Trying, Absolutely. I thought we were going to game six. That was a tremendous, tremendous effort on their part. Oh, man, what a way to end it there. That was such Woo! a good game. Such a good series as well. Um, Grand Valley just a little bit faster on those rotations uh, and a little bit more clean shots, but Trine definitely played well. They did take a game as well, and they took it to overtime in Game 5. So great yeah, play from both teams. But Both teams. Uh, I mean, what you saw from Trine there in the last... Uh, there was two two parts, I mean, especially in the game that they won, but they're in the last to take it to overtime. Trine was in control of those games, and what you could see was Trine in full force, setting each other up, walking, but what Grand Valley did uh, just a little bit better throughout those games was the passing, the rotation, the setups uh, was just catching Trine flat-footed, and they were stuffing those goals home. Uh, it was 
the aerials were both there and both teams were doing a little bit. I think I would give Graham Valley just a little bit more on the touches, on the feel, uh, situational awareness when they were in the air. Just set them up a little bit better than trying in some of those games. But it looks like Grand Valley taking home that trophy. Trying, you definitely tried. And I mean, your awareness in uh, situations when you had the ability to walk was second to none. But absolutely. Grand Valley just absolutely walking uh, in some of those games, just having the opportunity, capitalizing on some errors, um, and also clearing out the zone and zone dominance in some of those games. Just set them aside from trying just a little bit more. I wish there was a time of possession stat we could check because I, I guarantee Grand Valley had had a large lead in that that time of possession. They were controlling the ball. They were in trying zone for so much of it that uh, you know any one mistake when you're the, you're just getting shot after shot after shot, your defense slips one time and that's a goal. Yeah, time of possession was huge in a lot of those games, um, and we saw where trying was you know in that time of possession, that last game, and then the game that they won. It was definitely in trying's favor, and they found the way to walk off those walls through the corner and have that rotation in zone. Now where Grand Valley was really having the time of possession in most of those games was the rotation in zone, the ability to rotate while aerial, uh, out of the aerials out of the corner and into zone. Um, something that Trine just could not kind of get on top of, but when Trine was on top of, of uh, on top of it, you saw the possession change hands, and that is where Trine was definitely starting to claw their way back. Grand Valley, though, definitely stifling when it came to time possession, and that is what kind of kept them in and winning uh, these four games. Yeah, absolutely. Great play from both teams. So up next in the Michigan Bandwidth Bowl, uh, Grand Finals Day, we're going to have some League of Legends, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for coming out, Michael, Mr. Flake of Wrath. We always appreciate the support that you do for the Michigan esports scene, uh, and we're super glad to have you out here today. No, of course. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, GG's to Trine and Grand Valley. Uh, I know both teams uh, happy to be here and Trine. Uh, I can definitely say you're on your way up. Grand Valley, though, congratulations. Glad to see uh, Grand Valley on top there. And thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Michigan Bandwidth Bowl. Take care.